see, I got some Korean money. Since I came back from America, I got some American money. I'm just tired of saving and investing. I'm tired of it. I mean, what if I die tomorrow? Well, what if I don't? Where are all my money going to go to? My family? Huh? That's a noble cause. My kids? Huh? They may need it, not deserve it. I don't know. I just, sometimes I get really emotional and negative when it comes to money because thinking about money, talking about money can be stressful. Why is that? Do I know enough about money to be stressed out? Or am I stressed because I don't know a lot about money? So that's why I'm stressed. I wonder. What do rich people stress about? Or do they just do drugs? Or sleep on their yachts and dive off the back and get attacked by a shark? I don't know what the fuss is about because talking about money, working for money, whether I work for somebody or myself, I always got to worry about money. It just makes me so depressed and so stressed. Hey, Ross World, my money makes money. Why are you so damn emotional? Why are you so negative towards money? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. You live in a money-ran world. It's kind of like this. You eat every day. Well, most of us. And it's something that you need. So you don't really stress about eating Especially you have a job. Now, let's not get into all the details. I'm going to go straight line and sinker, okay? Straight line and sinker. You take all the variables out, okay? Take all the variables out. We eat every day, but we don't worry about it. We go out, we cook our food in our place, or we go out to eat, and we don't worry about it. So why are you worrying about stressing over money? Now, if you're unemployed and you're not getting an unemployment check, then I can understand you stressing about money. If you were starting up your entrepreneur business, you saw in your own business and you're an entrepreneur, and you didn't take those steps that I gave in one video, I can't recall it, I'm so sorry, but about keeping your job until that personal job takes off. It takes off really well. You get a good ground base, you get some good revenue, revenue and capital. Why are you stressing over money? Because you don't stress over going to buy yourself something to eat or cooking yourself some food, or drinking some drinks, or smoking some smoke. <laughs> so why are you stressing over something that you actually need? You actually need this stuff. You actually need this paper. And people get all the details. I hear people arguing about, oh, the money is not backed by gold. And uh, who cares? Who cares? This is the only thing that people around the world understand. They understand Money. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what country it's from because in that country, they understand money. So you need money. And those of you who are stressing out about money, that's because you're not doing the right thing by your money. I remember I said that money is a living, breathing thing. And it's not because you gave life to it. It's not because I gave life to it. The world has given life to money. Money opened doors that some people can't. Some people can't. Some people are accepted in places simply because they have money. Then you have your known millionaires and billionaires and you have your secret millionaires and billionaires. But I tell you this, once that company, once that uh, 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 place, wherever that person is going, know that they are a millionaire or billionaire, their doors open. Things happen on the behalf of them people because of how much money they have in their account. Not how much money they're going to spend. Not how much, think about that. When you look at these shows, right, and they're like, oh, that's, that's such and such over there. Uh, they're like, I never heard of him. Oh, yeah, he's really not. Yeah, yeah. well, give him the deluxe package uh, for half off or uh, offer him this for free. Uh, tell him his mini bar is free. They want you 
in their establishment. But you and I, me and you, we feel negative. We feel stressed. Well, how am I going to pay these bills? And Well, you created them. You created the bills. Cut the expenses. But now, when you give negative energy to this, that means every time you think about money, you're stressed out. Every time money goes into your account, you're stressed out. Because you're like, oh, well, I got to pay this bill collector, and, and I got to get this for my kids, and, and I got to go shopping, and, and I got to pay insurance. And, ah, just stop. Just stop, because this is the thing. This channel is about giving you financial information, but it's also working on the psyche, the psychology of money, and how it affects you. And a lot of my videos I put out, I don't see people really looking at them, okay? I don't see people looking at uh, the law of averages, um, the, the law of attraction, the, the, the law of routines. I give you this information because we're talking about the psychology of money. You have to listen to those videos because I'm trying to give you the secrets. I'm trying to give you the information. I'm trying to give you the power in order to overcome this. Back in the day, we didn't have money. We, we, we traded and we also had notes, okay? You know, card note. They just gave you a note. Oh, I owe you this amount of money. Sign. Boom. Okay, I got this note with your name on it. You going to pay me this? Boom. That's all it was. It was a note. It was a note. The first, the first kind of sign of debt. But this is the thing. You guys are negatively and emotionally thinking about money. Money. Money that you make. Money that you go out and earn. Because of all the bills that you have. I want you to take some time out your day. And I want you to think positively about money. I want you to think positively about notes. Moolah, cash, Skrilla, cheddar, whatever you want to call it. I want you to have a positive mental attitude when it comes to money. The only way you're going to do this, the only way you're going to do this is you have to stop stressing about things that you can't control. You can't control that the world is ran by money and people with money. But you can control how much money you make. You can control how much money you spend. Now, I always, I mean, now I have people recently to reach out to me, the more subscribers I get. They want those free credit dispute letters. And I'm happy to oblige. Sometimes it takes me 24 to 48 hours. I always tell you guys that um, because I have a life. <laughs> okay, I have a life. Even though the email only takes two minutes, I know, but I still have a life. But this is the thing. I want you guys not to use those credit dispute letters. W what am I talking about? Basically being in a position that you don't have to use them. Now, some of you, you might have to use them now to get to that point, and that's fine, and that's fine. But I don't have anything to link with on my credit. I don't stress about money. Now, sometimes in my household, we stress about money in the way of, oh, we got to buy a fence right, right now. You know, I'm saving up money to buy a fence. And my, my wife was like, well... Why you don't have the money? Well, I got the money, but she knows me. I want to save up the money to buy a fence. Like, I bought all this stuff. I painted my garage. But I think positively about money. Saving money takes what? It takes time. It takes time. So now I'm just setting aside uh, uh, anywhere to three to $500 for a couple of months, and I'm going to get this fence put in for the house. So... I don't really stress about something I can't control. I make money, I save money, I invest money, and that's about it. But I think of ways to try to cut my expenses. I don't try to eat out every night. So when you guys think of money, I want you to start thinking about the things that you can do, the things that you will do, okay? Because can is not an action word, will is. I will do this. Because when somebody say, oh, I can do that, that doesn't mean they're going to do it. So when somebody say, I will do that, they mean they will do it because that's an action word. 
So understand the positivity in your words. Understand the positivity in your money. Understand the positivity in the expenses and take accountability the ones that you made. Take accountability of the expenses that you made and cut them. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Cut those expenses off. Then I need you to push it. Push your savings and investing. Push your mindset and have a positive mental attitude until you achieve what you want to achieve. You guys have to understand the psychology of money because people die over money. Wars have been fought over money. <clears throat> Bush with the oil. Everything has been done over money. Now, some of you saying 9-11, yes, we should have went to war over 9-11, but we stayed over there way too long. And this is my opinion. Don't beat me up, guys. And I want to say it was over money and oil. Understand that you can and you will do it. Start use action words in your life. Start use positive things in your money and watch your life change. This is Ross World. We can't even imagine where our bank accounts will be, will be if we put positivity on our life. If we put positivity on our money. If we put positivity on our accounts. I'm out.